thank you very much for the lecture. Uh, I'm James. Uh, I study international relations here. I also come from the Czech Republic. So I'll first ask in Czech if that's all right, and then I'll translate uh, to English. Čili chtěl bych se zeptat, myslíte, že sekularismus, který můžeme vidět například v České republice dnes, má reálný dopad na mezilidskou interakci, například na hodnotový systém a tak dále. A ještě bych se rád zeptal z normativní perspektivy, zda považujete případné změny za pozitivní či negativní. Jaké změny? A změny například v hodnotovém systému, nebo kdy vlastně sekularismus nějakým způsobem dopadá na společnost. So, do you think that this secularism that may perhaps be observed in the Czech Republic has very real implications to how people in such societies interact with each other, the value system and such? And from a normative perspective, do you view this positively or negatively? Thank you. Great answer in Czech. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know, when, uh, I don't know if it is really secularization. Sometimes I say, that in other countries more the religious analphabetism, that the people have a very strong, um, a very strong opinions about religion, but this opinion is not covered by the experiences and the knowledge. And also there are uh, some uh, apatheism, apatheism, the people that are apathetic toward religion. And then is also uh, spirituality, which is not cultivated by the uh, by the Christian culture. Uh, so uh, also the Chesterton already said that uh, the great uh, danger of uh, for the people they don't believe in God that sometimes they are prepared to believe in anything. And, uh, and somebody has ironically said that we are the only country in, uh, in which uh, more people believe in UFO, in, in, in UFO. Uh, UFO, than in God. <laughs> so, but I think it's not so bad. But uh, sometimes uh, yeah, this, this, uh, this decline of the uh, church-oriented religious culture uh, was not uh, it was a space not for scientific atheism, but for some wide spirituality, also esotericism and so on. So I think, and, and uh, but to say also something positive about about the spirituality in my country, I I'm always saying that this uh, very special uh, very special sort of of uh, of uh, religious uh, culture. Um, I, I quoted um, uh, one Czech Catholic writer, Jaroslav Durik. He wrote an essay about the gesture of prayer. He said in, in, in Spain that there's a pathetic gesture of prayer. Uh, the people pray so before the cross. And the Czech says very, uh, some, uh, uh, like the Czech, uh, feel uh, a little bit the ironic view of a skeptic, and there is some 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 um, how to say shy uh, shy spirituality. And I'm always speaking about this shy spirituality because many people in our country, also the profiling intellectuals like the Masaryk and also Havel and Ferrocharik and others, nobody. Uh, nobody from them was an atheist, but many, uh, but practically uh, no, uh, none of them was prepared to speak about God in the traditional uh, language. They speak, Havel spoke about horizons of horizons in a little bit Heideggerian uh, way and so on. So I think a little bit distance from uh, the church oriented. And so, but it is not atheism. I don't know if it is really secularization. I think there is this shy spirituality. And, and uh, I must say, I am a little bit sympathetic with this shy spirituality. And uh, uh, so, uh, uh, yes, the value orientation, of course. But there are also people, they are not proclaiming its face. But they are really, really uh, also moral people. So I, I think uh, it's uh, uh, 
Um, what we need in this is dialogue. Dialogue with, uh, with, with the seekers, with the shy spirituality, because it's a pity if those people uh, cannot, uh, uh, cannot uh, understand and, uh, and to be uh, enriched uh, from the treasure of the Christian, Christian culture. Uh, but uh, uh, it is our task to interpret it, to open it, to, to, to make it accessible. So not superficially, not superficially, but uh, we need uh, always to interpret it, to explain many things. And it's, uh, uh, the inculturation is, 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 is important. The evangelization without inculturation is just indoctrination. Yes, yes. And the people after communism are allergic to an indoctrination. So, um, uh, so we need this inculturation to deal with the culture. Uh, when <coughs> you are coming, they are coming to Greece from, you know, from abroad, I always say you must take seriously the Czech culture. You must at first read the Czech literature, to see the Czech films, to read the uh, God Soldier Schweik and, and, and many other, <coughs> and other books to understand the mentality. So the Christianity is not something we are just going and uh, eat birth or, or die. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it is this inculturation, this, this, this dialogue, uh, this respect to the mentality. And I, I think that it's now, uh, it's a great, a great hour of the inculturation of Christianity in uh, many other, um, in many other cultures. I, 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 I read some, some, some Japanese theologians, they are so inspiring. And uh, I wonder if, uh, how it will be with the African um, Christianity and so So now the Pope Francis is also the sign that uh, the Christianity is going a little bit out of, of, of Europe and uh, they are the missionaries from, from, from Africa and from, 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 from India in Europe now. Uh, some of them are very good, some of them uh, don't understand the mentality. And I think it's important to, to understand the, the, the mentality. So this was, when I was in India, uh, it was uh, after my stay in Rome and in India, we celebrate uh, the mass uh, sitting on the ground and then and, and, and after they, and they asked me, could you, uh, uh, could you after the mass dance a Czechoslovak dance? <laughs> 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 I'm afraid I'm not able to do it. <laughs> I know the tango perhaps, but <laughs> it would be not a good um, liturgical dance. And, uh, so I'm very sorry we don't express our, 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 um, uh, our spirituality by dance. And, and then I said, oh, it's not, they, they, they accommodate it to, uh, to this, because I've got uh, in my mind uh, the terrific uh, liturgy in Rome, and then we are sitting by this table on the ground. And now I realize to the Last Supper, was perhaps more similar to this Indian <laughs> liturgy than uh, the Roman liturgy. So we accommodate it, and we are used to it, so we take it for granted. But we must also to be sensible uh, how the other culture are interpreting, accepting, and develop uh, the, Christian, uh, the Christian heritage.